it's Katrina! From forests that glow in the dark to recently discovered critters, here are 12 amazing things that actually exist. Number 12. Glowing Forests You may have heard of a glowing beach due to bioluminescence, but did you know that there are actually glowing forests too? This strange phenomenon can be seen in India and Japan, and must have been the inspiration for the forests of Pandora in the Avatar movie, don't you think? The western ghats in India are some of the richest rainforests on the planet. New species are discovered there practically every year, and it is home to leopards, tigers, black panthers, and elephants, just to name a few. Besides this incredible biodiversity, there is another phenomenon deep in the jungle. During monsoon season, from June through October, the branches, twigs, and stumps all take on an eerie green glow after it's been raining. If the floor is still damp, even your footprints will light up. Most commonly found in Goa and Maharashtra, it is a rare thing to spot. Bioluminescence in the water is much more common than on land, but there is a luminescent fungus belonging to the Mycena genus which thrives in a moist environment. Scientists aren't quite sure how they glow, but believe it uses the bioluminescence to attract animals that help to transport its spores so it can spread and grow. It's one of the most amazing nocturnal sights you'll see in a forest, and one that surprisingly most people think is something only found in fiction. Number 11. The Blackest Black Black holes might be the darkest places in the universe, but material scientists on Earth have developed something equally as dark. It was created by a team at MIT and is a black coating that can absorb as much as 99.995% of all visible light. It's so effective that if you see an object that has been covered in it, it doesn't even look real, and you can't make out the distinctive shapes or curves of it at all. The coating is made by growing vertically aligned carbon nanotubes on chlorine-etched aluminum foil, and it's said to be 10 times blacker than anything that has been created before. Due to the cost of making it, it won't be available as a paint at your local art store anytime soon, but it does have some interesting scientific applications. Instruments used to observe outer space like telescopes, for example, can benefit from a coating like this that prevents light interference from other sources. As an example of how dark it actually is, though, the scientists worked with MIT's artist-in-residence to coat a $2 million natural yellow diamond, which has resulted in the sparkling gem looking like a mysterious black void in an artwork that's titled Redemption of Vanity. The competition for creating the blackest black is fierce, with a number of labs around the world vying to develop the best. While MIT holds the current record, it's more than likely that this will be broken, and the science will continue to advance until someone manages to make something that absorbs 100% of the light that hits it. Number 10. Cave Pearls Did you know that you could actually find pearls in caves? Similar to how a pearl is formed inside an oyster, cave pearls form over time inside caves. They are not actual pearls, but are also the result of an amazing and slow natural process. They are pretty rare, but can sometimes be found in shallow cave pools. As water drips over time, it loses carbon dioxide and precipitates calcite, which then builds up on a piece of foreign matter like a grain of sand or a bone fragment. The shape of the pearl can vary, just like in an oyster, but its typical round shape comes from the uniform growth over time. The vibration from the water drops dripping into the pool can keep the pearls separate and ultimately polishes them. While they are much more porous than pearls for jewelry, people will sometimes use them for their uniqueness. In Tabasco, Mexico, there is the Cave of the Marbles, which contains a very high number of pearls compared to other caves around the world. 200 million pearls are estimated to lie on the cave floor, sometimes three feet deep. It is not quite clear how so many of these pearls formed here. Other caves famous for pearls are Carlsbad Caverns in New Mexico and the recently discovered San Dung in Vietnam. Number 9. The Geneva Free Port You might think that art galleries are where the world's biggest collections of art under top security are held, but there is a place in Switzerland that holds more pieces than the world's biggest institutes combined. While the National Gallery in London has around 2,000 pieces, and the Museum of Modern Art in New York has as many as 200,000, the Geneva Free Port holds more than 1.2 million valuable artworks, 1,000 of which are from Van Gogh alone. The most tragic thing about this place is that none of the paintings or sculptures are on display, and it's simply a high-security warehouse used by art dealers, collectors, and corporate entities that need somewhere safe to store the valuable objects. It's a place that really makes you question the point of art. 
With so many works being stored here from the world's most esteemed creators, many will likely never be seen by outsiders within our lifetimes as they are traded as assets between various companies and investors. It's also been found to be at the center of illegal archaeological trafficking, which resulted in Italian police being let in to search 45 crates of Roman and Etruscan antiquities a few years ago. And with no oversight over the ownership of what's in there, it's quite possible that a large number of missing and stolen works are hidden somewhere within in the facility's vaults. Number 8. Zombie Fungus This is amazing, but also extremely creepy. Just letting you know that in advance. There are a lot of different types of fungus, but they don't usually go around taking over an animal's mind. This one does. Found in the rainforest of Brazil, Ophiocordyceps unilateralis, also known as the zombie ant fungus, will stop at nothing to infect a carpenter ant. Actually, it's not that hard. It is quite skillful at colonizing ants and making them leave the nest, taking over the ant's mind and body. Other varieties of fungus will take over all kinds of bugs, from beetles to tarantulas. The fungus literally transforms the creatures from the inside out. This fungus will develop cells that join together to create a huge network in the body and infect everything but the brain to make the creature do what it wants. In the ant's case, it will make them climb up a branch, preferably over a well-traveled route, die a slow death above, and then the spores will fall down onto other unsuspecting ants, repeating the process again. This fungus was actually one of the inspirations for the monsters from the video game The Last of Us. Did you play that game? Luckily, so far, a fungus cannot take over humans, but we have plenty of other stuff to worry about, like a virus. Number 7. Bismuth Crystals the 83rd element bismuth is a vital component in products such as cosmetics, fire extinguishers, and ammunition. And while it's a well-known substance, it has a few properties you might not be aware of. It's one of the post-transition metals, which means it's similar to metals like copper and iron but is much softer and has an unusually low conductivity of heat or electricity. The strangest thing about it, though, are the crystals that it forms. They take on a hoppered shape with steps that look artificial in design, and when created in the right conditions, they will also exhibit a stunning array of colors unlike anything else seen in the natural world. Even more amazing is that if you want one of these for yourself, they can be very easily made at home with just a lump of bismuth metal and a heating dish. Number 6. White Peacock Peacocks are famous for their dramatic and colorful tail feathers, but occasionally perhaps an even more spectacular bird appears, the all-white peacock. It is a type of domesticated Indian peafowl, the blue species, but born white due to a genetic mutation. They are not technically albino, but leucistic because they retain their blue eyes and colored skin. Unlike other animals that are born without pigment, they tend to survive quite well. The reason for this is that their tails are used to attract mates, and there's nothing more unusual and attention-grabbing to the opposite sex than a partner who displays a completely different color palette. They retain the iridescence of normal peacocks too, which creates a dazzling display when the sunlight bounces off their feathers. In their native India, they've also taken on a deep religious significance to some communities, and will often be seen around villages and towns where the residents throw them delicious scraps in the hope that they'll stay around. Number 5. Living Rocks Normally, when you walk along the beach, you'll see countless uninteresting rocks, but along the coast of Chile and Peru, things aren't always necessarily as they seem. Some of the rocks there split open and reveal a blood-red creature, something that's known locally as piure. Of course, not actually a rock. This is a sea creature called Payura chilensis and is the closest thing to getting blood from a stone in real life. These creatures usually live in the ocean where they filter the water to extract the nutrients they need. Sometimes, though, strong storms will leave them stranded on the beach, and they have to wait and hope that the water will eventually pull them back in. They are a type of sea squirt and have a central mound of organs around which are layers of skin and muscle and an outer rock-like appearance that helps them blend in with their surroundings. In some countries, they are considered a delicacy and are often served as ceviche. Number 4. Alien Abduction Insurance You never quite know what life's going to throw at you, and insurance companies offer a range of products to help you cover any future costs you might incur. Whether it be for healthcare, your car, or your house, there's a policy that can give you peace of mind. But what if you're really worried about something really extreme happening to you? Well, it turns out there's a policy for that, too. 
It's thought that around 4 million Americans believe that they have been abducted by aliens. And even though they've been seemingly returned to Earth in one piece, it can lead to years of therapy and mockery from people who don't believe it's actually happened. If you're concerned that this might happen to you, there is a company in Florida that offers alien abduction insurance for just $24.95. And this covers you for up to $10 million in damages. The same company also offers Asteroid, Reincarnation, and Area 51 coverage just in case you want to be absolutely sure you'll be taken care of if the worst happens. According to the owner, they have sold more than 6,000 of these policies since they were first offered in 1987. What's more, during that time, they've had two claims filed. One was accepted and the company began paying out. Of course, before you sign up, you should read the fine print because it stipulates that payments are made to a maximum of $1 per year for up to 10 million years. So you might not be around to see all of it unless your abductors imbue you with some new found abilities. Number three, the palmaris longus muscle. When we learn about anatomy, we're shown the different muscles and structures of the human body. But amazingly, not everyone has everything. Our bodies have several redundant parts that were once useful, like the appendix, but aren't really anymore, and some people simply don't have them. The most surprising one of these is the palmaris longus muscle. Take a moment to lie your arm flat and clench your fist. Now move it up and down while creating some tension in your wrist, and do you see a tendon lifting up? If you do, that means that you have a palmaris longus, but as many as 15% of people don't. They aren't missing out though, because this muscle doesn't give any noticeable improvement in arm or grip strength, and is often the first thing surgeons look at removing to assist with reconstructive or plastic surgery elsewhere on the body. Number two, cute spiders. There's no denying that spiders are some of the most feared creatures in the world. It's not because they're particularly dangerous. In fact, most of them are completely harmless, but there's something about the way they look that gives people the creeps. No matter how you feel towards the eight-legged critters, there were two new species of peacock spider that were revealed to the world in 2015, and you can't deny that these are the cutest ones you've ever seen. One, known as the sparkle muffin, has blue and red stripes on its abdomen, and the other, called the skeletorus, looks like it's dressed up in a skeleton costume for Halloween. Both species are native to Australia, and the researchers were surprised to see quite how varied and unique their colorations are. It's possible that there are plenty more amazing spiders like these still to be discovered, and if that's true, it'll surely convince arachnophobes around the world that not all spiders are to be scared of. Number 1. Aerogel The first aerogel was created by Samuel Stevens Kistler in 1931, and since then has become an important material in a range of industries, including NASA. Without aerogel, they would have had a tough time designing technology for space in such an effective way. Aerogel is more of a term to talk about a group of materials with a specific geometrical structure. It is an extremely porous, solid foam that is said to feel like styrofoam, or even better, frozen smoke. It is only 15 times heavier than air. It's a material that is very similar to a gel, but whereas a gel is based on a liquid, aerogel is instead based upon a gas. This gives it a number of properties that are incredibly useful. It's extremely light and has a very low level of thermal conductivity, which means it's ideal for insulating things from fire. In fact, it's so protective that if you were to put a flower on a piece of aerogel and put a powerful flame beneath it, the petals will remain completely intact and show no sign of heat damage at all. Amazingly, 99.8% of aerogel is air and can be made with virtually any material. Most are made from silica, though, and currently hold 14 world records for material properties. Thanks for watching! Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you are new here. See you later! Bye!